This is John Canalopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. I'm very uh, happy to share with you this amazing case. This is a uh, now 39-year-old dentist who we encountered in 2004. At the time, we and uh, Theo Seiler were the only groups treating uh, this. At the time, he was a um, penetrating keratoplasty candidate as he was intolerant to contact lenses. He could not uh, perform uh, his everyday duties. He had just uh, graduated from dental school and had opened a practice. And uh, as a candidate for penetrating keratoplasty, we discussed with him the option of uh, performing uh, cornea cross-linking. Thank you, Theo Seiler, for such a gift to all these patients. Um, the uh, procedure was uneventful. We used the classic Dresden protocol, epithelial mouth, three milliwatts uh, for a half hour. This is him a year later. Uh, 2005 um, and we see the dramatic flattening about two three diopters of flattening so a uh, mission accomplished uh, keratoconus stabilized and with correction visual acuity was about 2040 he could uh, perform his everyday duties uh, but uh, the story doesn't stop here uh, a year even later so two years after the initial Dresden protocol cross-linking two and a half years almost we have even more flattening, flattening even more dramatic uh, change from um, um, 2005, seen here, to 2006, about four more diopters flattening. And today, um, just before Christmas, this is an early Christmas present for us and, of course, for our young dentist. He's 39 years old now. He has a family, two lovely little daughters, um, and we can see that his cone is almost gone and a remarkable change from pre-op to post-op seen here. So we're looking at a um, 14 and a half year uh, course on this procedure and with an astounding, um, tremendous refractive effect on the, um, on the keratoconus. Now looking at his Pendicam maps, of course in 04, we did not have uh, Pendicam available in our practice. This is him seen in 2012. And this is him seen today. He just has regular astigmatism. He's uncorrected 2025. And with one and a half diopter of astigmatism on the regular axis seen here, he reaches 2020. And this again is the change that he, this um, uh, fellow um, patient had uh, uh, since 2012 and today. So just the last six years, we're seeing the astounding refractive change of five diopters. And we've described this as a um, refractive uh, effect of the cross-linking since probably with our technique then, we effectively achieved uh, uh, differentials of cross-linking within the cornea, allowing for the cornea as years go by to exhibit this remarkable refractive effect. Tremendous story. I felt compelled sharing it with you. Thanks so much for watching.